and welcome to this Notion walkthrough. Today, we're going to be talking about how to create the perfectly customizable, personalized wedding invite using Notion. Uh, Abdulnan, let's get right into it. Why use Notion for a wedding invite versus the traditional, uh, you know, wedding card or whatever people use nowadays? Yeah, um, that's a great question. You know, Notion. One of the benefits that a lot of people find in Notion is that it's super minimal. Uh, it's very designed as uh, designed uh, to be very aesthetically pleasing and minimal. Um, and that's one of the benefits of it. So if you want just kind of bare bones information on there uh, related to your wedding invite, you can kind of put those on there and it kind of uh, keeps it uh, very easily accessible. The other benefit, obviously, uh, Notion for, for the most part is cheap. Um, it's free if you have your you know personalized account. Um, and then you can add a few other perks with some, uh, you know, subscription models. But uh, as for what we wanted to use it for right now for a wedding template, uh, you can use it um, for free. Uh, you know, wedding invites can be super uh, expensive. Um, the cards can get really expensive to print depending on what kind of quality you want and stuff like that. Um, the last thing, uh, which is my personal favorite reason to use Notion, which is why I use Notion for um, my wedding invite, was that it's easy accessible. You know, you can add so much more information uh, and have it all in one place. Um, that way you're not sharing information constantly back and forth. You're not sharing a digital card. You're not sharing, sharing a physical card multiple times over and over again. All you're sharing is a website link that you already have um, uh, on your phone. All right, Abdullah, I'm going to cut you off right there. I just want to quickly walk the audience through uh, what we're seeing here on the screen. So basically, this is the actual template that we're talking about. Uh, the structure has been set up so that you can basically go in, change the names, change the details, and you can go ahead and make this live. So if you take a look here, it has a bismillah at the top. You have your wedding invite. You have this little seal thing that you can change. Um, everything in here is customizable. You, know, you, can R you have the RSVP link, which takes you to the actual Google form that's at the bottom here. Um, and then each aspect of the actual wedding details are linked here and you can scroll through as well. So the nikah ceremony, the date and time, who's doing it. Of course, we have this little, you know, uh, you, you change the details for your own wedding. Don't just use uh, what we have here. Um, and then the location, and it has a map. Uh, so you can literally just click on this. Uh, the other piece is the William reception, all your information you could possibly need for people that are, uh, coming out of town, you have travel information where you need to come to, um, maps. It's just everything you could possibly want, like things to do, uh, what to eat. Uh, there's a link to the registry here and then frequently asked questions. Um, you know, for uh, this wedding, for example, this was uh, in Canada and there were a lot of people coming from America. So, you know, when you cross the border, there were questions around that. Um, and that kind of thing. And then you actually have your RSVP at the bottom as well. So um, just wanted to do a quick walkthrough as you were mentioning, uh, Abdul Manan, uh, you know, all the details that you can include in this actual template. Um, but yeah, do you, you want to go through uh, how to set up the links? So like uh, basically these things that we have here, you can add these to your calendar even right from here. Yeah. Um, how do you actually set up these links so that uh, when the person that's duplicating it can cu customize it for their own event? Right. So uh, one thing I did want to add just before we jump into that is that if you don't like the template that I decided to use is like a landing page template where you click on the link and then it has all the information and it's all on one page that you have to kind of scroll through. I personally like that because I didn't want people kind of I didn't want any information hidden in some tabs or anything. Uh, but there are different ways you can display the invite. Um, and we'll talk about that towards the end of the video. But yeah, so the first things first, um, you know, like I said, one of the most beneficial things about this is that you can add uh, your own links um, to uh, the Notion template so that they can, uh, so that your guest or your uh, invitee um, can uh, use those links. So the first one I have here is called an add to calendar. You know, how many times um, have you given an invite to someone to the day of the wedding? And then they're always asking about details. So what you can do here is um, change this text into a link. But in order to first generate your link, uh, you want to go to like, for example, your first, um, if you go to like a Google calendar, for example, you can uh, actually do Google you calendar. Want me to do this real time. Yeah, you can do that. I mean, if you're comfortable with your um, Google calendar. Uh, yeah, I'll use my Falcon Notes calendar. Let me share that screen. Uh, so the benefit, there we go. Um, like I said, was that you can create uh, the actual event for your wedding. So let's just say it was on June 25th. 
the date's going to be a little wrong because the, the template is from 2020. But uh, I'll, I'll just use like a random date here. So like, let's say my wedding. Uh, Ali, what's the name in the thing? Mirza. <laughs> Ali Mirza. These are fake names. Yeah. <laughs> Ali Mirza. Wedding. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wedding. Uh, okay. And then you can click save for the event. Okay. And then you can click on the event again. And in the top right, there's a three button drop down. So you just click that and click um, publish event. And publish event will basically make it public. You copy this uh, URL. Yeah, the second one's a good one. The HTML is like for quarters. But you go back to your Notion template now um, and uh, me, create, copy paste that text link into the text right here. Here's a link. Um, and now what will happen once you paste it, click link. Um, or, yeah, there we go. Now what will happen when your users open up the website, it is, it'll go to the calendar invite. And then they can just add that to your calendar. Now, the benefit of mm -hmm. this is that obviously now it's in their calendar and now they don't have to remember or to ask you, or, you know, when the uh, invite is, you can kind of just look into your own calendar. And then depending on how you set up that um, event on your calendar, you know, obviously you can uh, put in as many um, reminders as you want to that date. So you can put... Uh, one week in advance, one month in advance, two months in advance, stuff like that. So there's a, a an immediate benefit right there. That's not that's pretty unique from uh, traditional wedding invites. Mm. Uh, the other thing here, obviously, you can add your own details. Uh, you can add the officiant for the wedding. You can add the location. Uh, this is linked to the my officiant's um, personal website where he talks about uh, a bio about him uh, and, and about who he is, um, stuff like that. Google Maps, we briefly talked about, right? But essentially what it is, it's um, in Notion, you just backspace and type in maps um, if you want to show that somewhere. Yeah. And then you can embed a Google Map link. So when you go to Google Maps um, and you type in a destination, you can actually copy a link to that destination and just paste it in here and it should work. Yeah, um, let's just do that real quick as well. Um, so this is... All right, so what's uh, let's just do the same thing? It's not yeah. Canada, okay? Yeah, for the yeah, so there's a Did share button share. here. Yep, boom, copy, copy link. link. Okay, now let me switch over. I wish there was a quicker way to do this. Uh, the screen share I'm talking about, and so we just paste it here. So let me yeah. actually do that from the beginning. So we got the link already. Oh, whoops, let me delete this. Now maps backslash and then maps. Yep. And then just paste this right here. Embed yeah. map. And you can change the size to customize it however you want. You can add it to a different column. Some of the regular features of Notion applies to this as well. So um, there you can see him kind of scrolling in and out. So you can do that on the website or even on your phone uh, where you can zoom out and see the context of the location. Uh, you saw him doing that a little bit there. Yeah. But yeah, you can make that any size you want. Now, so like I said, the benefit of this is um, the links that you can add to your website. So one of them is a calendar link. One of them is a Google Maps to a location link. But if you scroll down, um, go into the travel section, you can actually add another type of link, go a little bit farther down. Um, uh, you can add uh, maps like this that show you from one destination to, to another. So the way you do this is if you go to uh, Google uh, Maps again, Mm -hmm. Type in uh, Courtyard by Marriott, Mississauga West, or yeah, um, type in Woodbine Bank. Uh, yeah, we can do this. Courtyard by Marriott, uh, Mississauga West, the uh, third one down. So let's say this is your location for where you want the people to live or where you want the people to stay for their wedding. You click directions, um, put in Toronto International Air Pearson International Airport. So this will give you generate a Google Maps link that shows you how to get to where you want to be. Now for this, what you do is let's say you want to use the first uh, route, uh, Ontario 427 South, you click the details at the top, there's a share button, boom, copy paste the link, mm. and then just go into this template and edit the maps uh, link. So if you hover over it. Uh, I'll just, I'll just do it a separate one. So same thing maps here. Yeah. And then paste and embed and then it'll populate uh, a map that looks kind of similar to that.
And then you can change the size of this however you want as well. Uh, I see. So that's pretty cool. Main links that are super helpful. Uh, and uh, that's kind of the main benefit of Notion, using Notion to have all the information in one place. Um, so the other thing I wanted to do here, for example, explore GTA was because I had so many people coming from out of town, I wanted to make it a destination wedding um, and share some of my top uh, uh, options for places to see, things to do, and places to eat. Um, and these are really cool places if you want to check out the Toronto and the greater Toronto area scene. Yeah. And then last, but certainly not least, um, you know, you can send this as the actual, so basically if you want to share this and have people come to it, what you can do is you can either uh, just basically share this to web and then copy this web link. But the issue is it just becomes this like super long link. And uh, I'll, I'll give you like an example here on the actual domain, what it looks like, because you can't see the whole thing here. Um, or on the browser. So like, this is the actual link. So for our thing, it's in the Falcon Notes um, uh, workspace and then .notion site, and then you're invited and it has this whole string of like uh, random variables, right? So this is not the most intuitive thing. So there's a uh, tool called Super, which allows you to just take your Notion template and turn it into a custom site. And so, uh, and it's super easy. Um, and maybe that's why they actually use the word super because it's that easy. So basically what, here's what we do. We go to super.so. We get started for free. If you don't already have an account, if you do, you just sign in. Um, and then you just create site. So you go create site. And literally it's as simple as you put the name. So you can say Ali Wedding, Ali Wedding, or Ali Hafsa, whatever you want. And then you just copy this actual link. So we'll actually go from the Notion template here. So basically what we do is we go to this little share button right at the top right of the actual template. And then you make sure that the share to web button is on. So the share to web button is on, then you can copy web link. That web link, once it's copied, we take it back to super and then we just paste it here and then we create site. And voila, like this is literally like your actual site is actually live, right? So now it'll say ali-wedding super dot super site, which is a lot better than the notion like, you know, with the 50 random letters and stuff like that. So people can literally just come to this ali-wedding dot super site. Or if you want a custom domain, you can pay um, a certain amount. Uh, you can upgrade here. It's $16 a month. You can upgrade to personal. You can get a custom domain. You just do aliwedding.com or whatever it is. Whatever is available, you can look into that. And then there's also yearly options. Um, for weddings, you probably just need it for a few months. So you can just do a custom domain um, and you'll have this uh, ready to go in, in a way that's nice. So it's either this, you can see this Falcon Notes, you know, the super long one, or it's this Ali Wedding super site. Alternatively, you can also just shorten this link that's also an option, but um, either way, uh, I think this is a really nice option. It's free. Uh, you can get it set up. Now, the last thing I will mention about this is that like the other cool piece about this is that like this LE Wedding Super Site um, or whatever domain you use, any changes you make to your actual Notion templates will update in almost real time to this one. So like you don't have to worry about uh, doing any separate like uh, updating on this side. It's connected to your Notion page. And as the changes come live on your Notion page, it'll also come live on your website that you have set up here. Uh, any other things you want to add, uh, Abdulmanan, here? Yeah, I think I just want to talk about something I mentioned earlier in the video. Remember, I preferred a one, one page landing page for my wedding invite, but Super is where you can you know find your own templates. So instead of uh, what you can do if you want a different template is instead of generating your template and then transferring it over to Super, what you do is you download these templates and then they will generate a Notion template for you to use. Um, so for example, they used to have a couple of different wedding uh, template invites. They don't anymore. So if you go to personal site, I think those are probably the most similar to a wedding invite. Um, and I don't know, let's just click on one that's free. Uh, the split one looks, yeah, context looks pretty good. I don't know, whichever yeah. one. Um, so what you can do is you can kind of have this one pager, for example, and then have some links at the bottom the way he's got it. Like the, the links there could be like wedding details, RSVP, um, uh, you know, frequently asked questions. Um, you can have like the uh, registry, all that stuff. So if you want to hide away all of your options and have just a very bare bones, minimal template like this one, you can copy this over from Super. Um, and it gives you the instructions right there about how to do it. Um, 
uh, and alternatively, um, and then what happens is when you copy this template into Notion, uh, it generates a page that looks exactly like Notion. It says if you're working in Notion, um, and then the photo that he has on the left side, um, you just have to upload a photo in the wherever it pops up in the in the Notion template. It'll and be then, the it'll be the header. You know, yeah, the top the photo. Oh, okay, yeah. So as long as you change the header in Notion, it'll change it to this photo right here. Um, and then when you go to your super website using the link um, from the super website, it'll look like this. Um, so if you don't like the one pager that Notion provides, you can use uh, different templates that are available. Yeah, if you have any questions on how to use um, super, there's actually like the actual super YouTube page has uh, a template or a video explaining how to use this exact template. So I'll link that in the description too, in case you're, you don't like our template, you want to use one of Super's uh, custom templates. Uh, they'll show you how to use this, how to customize it. You can do dark mode. Um, there's a couple different options you can do here um, that like are pretty cool. The, even in here, you can probably do some options that we haven't really talked about. Um, theme, toggle, you can you know enable light I like mode, the, dark uh... mode. I was bouncing between using a nav bar and not. So on the left-hand side, you can see nav bar right there, go up a little, uh, down a little, <laughs> down, down, down. Nav yeah, right bar, there. I see. So instead of having the links on the Notion page, I can add those links here and it'll create a navigation bar at the very top of the wedding mm. uh, that stays at the top as you scroll down the one page landing page for your wedding. Uh, the reason why I didn't end up using this was I felt like it was a little bit kind of big. Overkill. Um, I didn't like how it looked on the um, on the phone. Uh, so, uh, I ended up just keeping the links that I had, uh, in the table of contents format at the top of the website page. Yeah. Uh, and you yeah. can also make quick design changes here. Like you can change some of the colors, like for example, you can change the dark mode as we kind of talked about before you change the light mode, you can change the color palette, um, things that like you could do in notion as well, but like, it's just really easily, it'll apply all the styles to your site. Um, straight up for you and like a click of a button. So it's pretty cool stuff here. Um, if you're interested in this, we can do more videos on uh, super in particular, but, um, yeah, this is a quick walkthrough of how to create your wedding invite. Any last things going on? That's it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys will be using notion for your wedding invites. <laughs> Yeah. And, and just, uh, if you like the template that we walked through this one, uh, we will leave the link in the description again. Um, and you can just hit duplicate. Abdulman, you want to quickly just show how you actually would, uh, use that. So basically let's say we have, uh, let me actually share the screen. So if we have this, so what, what'll happen is the link will have the link to this page. And then you literally just have to duplicate this into your notion dashboard and then we can create a separate video after and how to like you know customize it there but um if you know how to use notion you just hit duplicate into your personal dashboard and then from there you can connect it to super and it'll be live